buddy Vampiro, seven one two here tonight from uh, beautiful Cleveland, Ohio, for the uh, for our biannual uh, great card that we call Wasteland. And you know what? It's been a great weekend here so far in uh, beautiful. No, we're not in Birmingham, England. What the heck's going wrong with this technical crew? Easy vamp, easy vamp. We're having to have a good time. I'm sorry, they always mess it up all the time. It's Cleveland, not Birmingham. All right. Well, let me get going here. I mean, this has been a great weekend. Uh, of course, it coincides with the similar wasteland event happening in good old Ohio. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th anniversary re reunion. And what a, sh what a show it was. I'll tell you that much. I was there this afternoon. All I got to say is freaking awesome. Big shout out to those guys. They continue to make one hell of an effort. And you fellow Ohioans know what I'm talking about. All the ones that travel from other states to join us for that show. And that, you know, it's awesome. If you're an old, old school horror movie fan from the 70s, 80s, even the 60s and the 50s. This is a convention just made for you, basically. But, yeah, right now we got a 20-woman wish contract battle royal going on for the women's wish contract. And we know what a wish contract is. Yeah, why don't you explain to them, Leia? I sure will, Vamp. I'm going to say that much right now. This is a contract that means you want to challenge for any title? Done. You want to challenge anybody to a grudge match? Done. You want to add stipulations to the match? Done. Your opponent cannot escape this contract. This is the contract that traps them. If you're looking to end the grudge, this is the one you need to get. Simple. You want that world title shot that's been eluding you? Then you need to get this contract. You need to win this 20-woman rumble. You need to prove to the other 19 women that you are the one that's going to win it. Well, then, let's get to the ring right now. So we're going to kick off night one of Wasteland. And after a while, I'll give some great shout-outs to everybody else out there, too, that you can uh, look at on YouTube, definitely. People like Vince McShann, Mad Sinister McCall, uh, Prince AJ Gamer, Shockwave Wrestling, Got Mark 76, uh, Glory Days Wrestling, WCW Rewind. Who else here? We got Back in the Day 2K, RGSN Sports Network, I like to say Retro Gaming Sports Network. And uh, heck a lot of great, great pages out there. Christopher Hovis, Iron Taylor. The last superstar in the ring Chuck. will be declared the Royal Rumble winner. Yeah, that are definitely one is uh, Chuck, basically. Uh, who the heck else? The Mr. Boo Woo's Network. Great, great stuff. Bam Bam's Universe. I mean, you name it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff to look at. I think it might even be better than Cable sometimes. Who the heck knows? And look who gets to start off first. It's Roxanne Perez, the defending NXT Women's Champion. I'm trying to think if that happened today or did that, is that going to happen tomorrow on WrestleMania weekend? And, of course, they're looking at Perch right now in the back. He looks scared, but he looks ready, but he looks scared, too. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in his mind. I mean, he's got a certain, he's got a certain orange-headed... Orange-headed egotist looking at trying to end his career in the form of H.T. McDonald. If you don't know what H.T. stands for, Hunter Dane McDonald. And, uh, yeah, he's got, he had that all on him all the day. Yeah. All week, I should say. Well, I guess it happened today. I'm just going to see, uh, read up on my information here. Oh boy! Oh, from Tampa, Florida. Now, unfortunately, uh, we get—I guess uh, thanks to that—we can call our former NXT Women's Champion. Sorry to hear about that. Well, 
Oh, wow, bummer. Maybe she can get a wish contract then. Maybe get herself the wish that she wants here in Musty Wrestling. Very much, Leia. I mean, about, look at who she's got to go against. Somebody that might be hungrier than anybody else right now because she's been on a slump. And that would be Rachel De La Costa. Yes, the former tag team partner of Mona Hyatt. The former super fan of Sarah Perry. As these two are going to start off here first right now. I'll tell you how much right now. That's where we get this one going. These are the first two. 18 more to be determined. 18 more. Yes, that's right. 20 women. I think tomorrow the men's odd thing might be anywhere from 20 to 30. I did hear that. We didn't have a confirmed number yet. We just got to see who's all going to be in it. And right now, uh-oh. And right, oh. Oh. There's a jaw jacker from De La Costa. Don't let De La Costa kid you. Just because she's on a losing streak does not mean. Oh, and Roxanne's gone already. Wow. The jet lag must have got to Roxanne Perez. I think so, yeah. Oh, here comes. Well, De La Costa gets to meet up. She met up against a rookie. Now she's going to meet up against a legend, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, she's doing everything. Ooh. And Trish taking it to uh, Rachel here. Showing that just because uh, she may be up there in the years, but you know what? Doesn't mean that she does not know how to fight. Oh, did she? Wow, okay. Wow, interesting. I would not know about yeah, I would not know about that. Hey. I'm just re I'm just reading what I'm seeing right now, basically. So Thank you for the information. I guess they said that JC Jane cost a GG Dolan her her uh, match up in that ladder match. Uh Josie always erupts there and uh oh. Oh and uh Rachel decided, yeah, uh, yeah, it still hangs on to the apron. A competitor has been And eliminated. Rachel is gone. Now it's Miss Wonderland and Trish Stratus, and oh man. And she drilled her with that beautiful uh, slam into a backbreaker, and uh oh, we got trouble. Birth was coming in the ring. Oh my. Bertha is here. Yeah, we knew that. We were just talking about that. I said former NXT Women's Champion. Yeah. Yes, I did. Oh, and there goes Trish over the top. Bertha made that easy. Bertha's a powerhouse. What the hell is Stephanie McMahon doing here? you got to be kidding me. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me, man? Man, I'll tell you what. Oh, man. And Bertha just... Uh, Took it, though, Miss Wonder. Oh, and uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind cheering for Bertha against Miss Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, Stephanie McMahon, she is a disaster pit for wrestling, no doubt about it. Oh, and Stephanie hits that mat hard with that side slam, and here comes Tasha Maz. Yeah, her and Marcus are getting married. Uh, I think they got married today. Yeah, I think I did hear that correctly. Congratulations to the newest couple. Love is in the air, at, even at Wasteland. See, Wasteland doesn't mean anything really evil. Now, according to Tasha and Marcus, definitely. I'll tell you that much right now. Of course, uh, her beloved husband, Marcus, will be wrestling Corey Crichton for that Tri-American title tomorrow. Yeah, did you see what Corey did in uh, Marcus's Universal Wrestling? He won the world title for Mark the Clown. I know, that was a monstrous achievement. Gotta give it up to uh, Mark. You gotta give it up to Corey Crichton. He's, he's back on track, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, his next couple of weeks is going to be very, uh, 
going to be very daring for him. I mean, he's got this one tomorrow. Down the road, he's got a shockwave title match against champion Marcus King. So they're wrestling each other twice, once in each area. And then we got Perch who's worried about stuff. He's got a ladder match tonight. And then he's got a, what could be a career ending match on this coming Friday against uh, his former friend, H.T. McDonald. That's right, yes. And Wonderland, oh, and Wonderland bids adieu, I guess. Is that, what is, is that how you say farewell in French? I'm a, I'm a think, I, I think you're right. And Bianca Belair, good luck on trying to get Bertha out there. Bertha's a giant compared to everybody else in that ring. Oh, and she just ate a hammer and fist from Bertha. And now Tasha Ma is going out with Steph McMahon. Here comes Liv Morgan. Of course, I think her, uh, I think her uh, match is going to be tomorrow. She, so after she gets done here, she's going to have to go back to Los Angeles. So she get ready for her four-way uh, women's tag team match tomorrow at WrestleMania. The, I'll tell you what, these wrestlers are putting in some overtime. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, definitely. They are the Road Warriors, definitely. And I'm not talking about Hawk and Ammo or Mad Max. Well spoken. Oh man, what a suplex my ma's on Liv Morgan. Now that would be a heck of a wedding that would be a heck of a wedding gift if uh Maz would happen to win this battle world and get that contract. Yes it would be. I'll tell you that much right now. And right now, oh man, Lita gets smacked in the back by uh, Bertha. Oh, and Tasha Mazda trips up uh, Liv Morgan. Oh man, Lita tried to get rid of Bertha, and uh, to no avail, Bertha's got that heck of a monstrous defense. Michelle Marquis, what the heck is she doing here? Yeah, what, what the heck? Oh, and Liv Morgan's going over. Liv Morgan has been eliminated. Well, there goes another victim to the uh, to a pile there tonight. Liv Morgan. Wow. And they said Purchase put his bags on the floor right now in the MSW locker. And Bianca's in trouble, could be in trouble, courtesy of Bertha. Oh my, oh man. Oh, and she's going over. Farewell, farewell, Bianca. Better get, get back in, uh, better get back to California and, uh, go Bel Rhea. Oh, and Joy Joan is gone, courtesy of Tasha Maz. Tasha Maz. Fighting with a newfound determination. And right now, oh, there's that Canadian backbreaker by Bertha and Stephen McMahon. Oh my gosh, oh man. You know, if I was everybody else, I would go and gang up on Bertha. You know, she's the most powerful and the most dangerous. Here comes Viper at number 13. Yeah, Viper has made her appearance recently back here in uh, Must See Wrestling. Cursey, because. She is the she is the wife of older Chaz. Oh, and Burfo a big gigantic headbutt to it. Step me. Oh gosh, leg drop. Ouch. That did not feel too good. You you know what? You could say that again. That did not feel too good. Ah, definitely. I think we get the point. Oh, here comes uh, another juggernaut coming in right now. Arena Kozlov. Yeah. You know, just think after this matchup, her men, 
are going to be in it. Dom, Dominus and Kyle Hammer is going to be in that four-way tag team match. Now, don't forget the Men's Wish uh, contract battle well, will be coming up tomorrow night. Some things we know that's going to be there. Bratton Obama, Hunter Dane. Uh, you got Billy Paul, Robert McManus. Among some of the names in that uh, battle a royal. Wow, and there goes Viper. Oh, and Marquis may be in trouble. I told Michelle not to go in there with uh, high heels on. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Yeah, also in high heels. Only way it could be a good idea is you throw a drop kick heels first in the opponent's face. Are you telling him to cheat? Well, Marquis would take advantage of that because she is she is devious. Oh no, and there goes Stemic Man. Oh man, I I feel so sad. Oh my gosh. Stephanie McMahon has been yeah, I see the crocodile tears there, uh, vamp. And right now Lita's in trouble as uh the two powerhouses, Hobson and Kazo, are trying to get rid of Miss uh Lita there, the legendary Lita. Legendary Lita's right. Yeah, she's she's another one just like Trish has done it all in the Federation. Here comes Gigi Dolan. And oh man, Lita's gonna get rid of Bertha. See, there is the reason why she's a legend. Did you see how she just took somebody that's like twice her size and just disposed of her? And you know, that was, that was just beautiful by Lita. You know, I agree. And right now we got uh, Tasha Maz and Hot Stuff Hobson going at it. And, oh, there goes Kozla. What the heck? She got eliminated by, of all people, Marquis? I guess Marquis still has it. Oh, Maz is in. Oh, and Maz is gone. Wow. And here comes Shadows coming at number 17. And uh oh, Gigi may be in trouble here. Yeah, Gigi, if she gets eliminated here, she's not having a good day. She is not having a good day. Let's call it what it is. And, uh, oh, no, Shadow. As quick as she came in. Oh, man. The competitor has been eliminated. Oh, and Alita. Oh, man, Alita drops Marquis. And now Purchase uh, standing up and walking into Bobby Six Killer's office. Bobby's asking what you want, what would you want? Oh man, here comes, oh, and Lita got caught by, by the devious Marquis. Sweetness coming in at number 18. And Six Killer told him to come in. Oh, and Hobson's gone. Sweetness pulled the rope down. You know something right now, Vamp? The ring's looking a little empty here. The only three people are in there. Sweetness, Marquis, and Gigi. And it looks like, forget it now, we got... Well, it's going to be back to three because Tracy Torment's coming in. A competitor has been in. And right now, Sweetness and uh, Gigi going at it, but here comes Tracy Torment. Tracy Torment looks like she's ready for a Madonna concert. Yeah. The unique get up. And it looks like Purchase telling Bobby Six go that he's scared. Yeah, definitely. I would be scared too if you know that your career's up on a line this coming Friday. Unfortunately. Oh man, look at sweetness just oh man, torment. And here comes Janet Decay, the yummy mummy. Remember to watch them on YouTube also, the mummy and the monkey. Later on her 
her uh, significant other, Gordon Gory, will be in action with Dan House and take on John Monaco and Blue Arrow. And Perch is telling uh, Six Guard that he's uh, scared about his wrestling career and because of uh, what he says, scumbag H.T. McDonald. Yeah, definitely. You know what? You didn't think you would never think that one of the guys you decided to bring in to help you out would uh, get a, get a little uh, get a little evil on you. And right now we're looking at the final four: Gigi Dolan, Sweetness, Janet Decay, Tracy Torment. Oh, and Gigi's gone. Wow. Oh, no, no, no. And now Tracy Torment. Oh, man. Oh, look at that Tracy Torment. You know, I'll, uh, you know I don't condone that, but I'll... You know what? Definitely. I know. I understand what she needed to do against somebody like Sweetness. Oh, and Sweetness goes over. Wow. Tracy Torment makes it a no, makes it as one of the final two. Who's going to win it? Is it going to be Tracy Torment or is it going to be Janet Decay? Oh, this will be a hell of a victory for Janet Decay. She could pull it off against Torment in this uh, matchup. I mean, especially this is concerned her weekend. And uh, six goers telling, yeah, well. Oh man, right now, Torment trying to rain down on the parade of Decay. Oh man, what a backbreaker. Oh, and Decay fighting back. Oh, wait a minute. And Jan Decay has won the Wish contract. Big win, man. Big win. I'll tell you that much right now. Very big win. Congratulations, Janet Decay. Wow. Just thinking coinciding with Simo Waysa, and I'll tell you what, that's that's a hell of a weekend for her. Definitely. I think you know what would be even greater? If if Grim Gory and Danhausen can retain the tag team titles tonight. You know, you're right about that. I mean, this would be a heck of a victory for M Mr. Decay. Okay. All right, then. Uh, we'll see. We'll get this. Uh, we'll get the next match started. It's going to be the four-way tag team match. What a! Uh, I'll tell you what. That's a heck of a rumble win for uh, Jan Decay. And here we go, folks. Yeah, let's see what we got here. We got your harsh Sultan. We got Crossbones Incorporated. Consists of Grin and Reverend Morbid. High energy consists of Booster McCallum. And Michael Blaze and Red Syndicate, Dominus and Kyle Hammer. Let's let's talk about how this is going to go. Four way dance. That means it's going to continue. And there's one last tag team standing. The winning tag team will get a future world tag team title shot. The runner up will get a tri American tag team title shot. Sounds good. So you want to place in one? You want to either win or place? Show won't get you anything. And below show won't get you not a damn thing. This is going to be a heck of a matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. This could be a heck. And Grin and Reverend Morbid just started tag teaming together. 
and they can use, this would be one hell of a rebound victory after they lost, unfortunately, to now the the funk tag team of uh, Hunter Dame and Andrew Lee. Wait a minute, does that victory even count against them anymore? Unfortunately, in the history books, it does, Leo. Unfortunately, it does. You know, I mean, that's the thing about it. Question is, the winners of this match gets a challenge whoever wins that triple threat match tomorrow night between Federal Mayhem, Cold Blood, and Orion, and Smash and Bash. The runners-up get the challenge. The winner of the match later on tonight between Monaco and Arrow taking on Grimhausen, as they're calling himself now. Grimhausen, lovely. That's what they're calling stuff. I thought they were calling... They changed it from Late Night Eerie, I guess. Grimhausen. I like that. The name change does help. Yeah, sorry we weren't able to uh, do this last night. The thing about it is that... Uh, good old Spectrum Internet, man. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Get up. Yeah. It was out for quite a while. But it, it, everything's back to normal now. All right, I'll be back in a second here, folks. Uh, we'll be right back here in a second. Uh, just got to go down to the refreshment stand real quick. And there is grit the and more of a more bit. is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 495 pounds. And their opponents first at a combined weight of 373 pounds. High energy! Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 473 pounds. Oh, 
All right, we're back here. We got your horse shunt into the ring. And, uh, oh boy, he's inviting the MSW roster and ECW roster April 7th. Can we hold that many people in the back? I don't know. Yeah. Who the hell knows? Guess we'll find out, won't we? And now we got the we got the dread red scare themselves. Stop Dominus and Kyle Hammer. Kyle Hammer on your left, Dominus on your right. Oh my. I don't know, I think tonight, uh, you know what? We're gonna hope that Red Sunday kick does win. I don't think they even care if uh, high energy wins tonight. They're gonna hope that uh they're gonna hope that they you know if it come down to them and uh high energy, I think they're gonna hope that High energy can grab the victory. Right, yeah, we'll check and see there, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh my gosh, man. And now Perch is telling uh, Six Guard that they're gonna watch me watch him kick uh, Mr. McDonald's butt. Well, he better hope so. You know. He's got a lot right on this matchup, too. I can say that much right now. But right now, we got a heck of a... We're gonna have a heck of a barn burner right here. We got a four-way tag team match. Of course, four it is elimination rules. That means in order to win, you must see six buys going out of the ring, or maybe even seven, depending. Michael Blaze taking down the Green Mini while Yurohara getting uh, tackled by Booster McCallum. And on the other hand side of the fence, we got. Favorites Crossbones Incorporated going against the uh, going against the hated Road Syndicate. And like you said, this one's gonna be a barn burner. Right now, I feel I smell the barn burning this one, folks. Are you are you kidding? I'll tell you what, there are fists a flying. Kicks all around. I mean, there, yeah, there is no scientific moves in this one. Oh my gosh. And right now, uh oh. Oh, Michael Blaze put, a, put on the jaw of the green meanie. Oh, and Grit taking Dominus over. And oh, man, right there. Grit once again stomping the face of Thomas. Somebody got busted open. I just seen a splash of red on the camera. Yeah. Don't know who did. I, I thought maybe it might have been Dominus after uh, Grit's been jumping on his face really hard. Uh oh, Grit may put Dominus out. And Kyle Hammer's nowhere to save him because right now Kyle Hammer's got his own problems with the, with the good Reverend. Rubber and Morbid. Yeah, Rubber and Morbid just uh, recently uh, he's just become a father again to a daughter. So, definitely. He can use the winner's purse in this one and the, maybe the prestigious opportunity to go after a title. You're right about that. Of course, unfortunately, Rick Flair cannot be a ring, so he can't be a ring, so but. I heard the matches that his men are going to be in it because Jericho and Resistor will be in that men's witch uh, contract battle royal and no managers allowed. 
man, Rick may just have to sit in the back or maybe just uh, silver or sit over on the stage. Rightfully so. Oh man, and right now Kyle Hammer's got Morbid down. Oh man, and Morbid's gone. Oh, that's not good. Red against the competition. I guess we can call it that chapter. Yeah, Kyle Hammer also nailed him pretty damn good. And right now, oh, Booster McCallum doing the same to uh, Kazuki Urahara. And uh oh, here we go. Got that sharpshooter hooked on Urahara. Oh, man. And uh, we just got eliminated there. Looks like uh, Urahara's gone now. Wow. They're starting to drop like flies, folks. Yeah, that's what the other. Uh, yeah, that's what the opportunity for an elimination match is. I look at Blaze just getting uh, knuckled by uh, Meany. So Meany and Grin are all by themselves representing their teams. They better hope they got they got some miracle to take out some of these teams. Oh, Grit, he's tough. He, you know, he, he, he's one of those barroom brawlers. And oh boy, Mr. Dame is here, but even though he's wrestling tomorrow night in the Men's Wish contract, Battle Royal. That's correct, yeah, he, he sure is. And oh, Meanie just sent Blaze blazing into the mat. I like that, blazing into the mat. Oh, he sure did. That was a nasty face buster. And Mr. Dane grabbing his own bags. Oh, man, and Booster kicks out. So does Blaze. Wow. Oh, and McCallum gets dropped. Could that be it for uh, uh, McCallum? Does Grit have... Oh, and again. Oh, and uh, Blaze, uh oh he's got Meanie in trouble. Oh, Pedigree. Wow. Pedigree. Oh, and Blaze just got tossed like... A bad sack of apples by uh, Hammer, and now Hammer's gonna hammer him again. Oh man, what a takeover suplex! Oh, and Dominus, wow, he just ate a suplex sandwich. Only want to know what's even on that sandwich. Maybe we don't want to know. Is right. And now Meanie going for the pin on Blaze. Could this be it? But referee's too busy dancing around. Yeah, he just needs to learn just drop to the ground and count. Not run around. Not do a little run around. Where the heck did he get these referees from? Uh, the dollar store? Oh, and Blaze just got bloodied. Get over there. Drop, just drop to the floor and count, Ralph. And Blaze is gone. The only team's got two members in it exactly is Syndicate. We're getting down to the. We're, going, we're getting down to the dear and nasty here, I guess. 
We call that. Oh, torpedo. Oh, ouch. Is Meany going to be all right? He got torpedoed head first. That was nasty. And Grit going for the pin on Dominus. He can make this a one person. He can make this a one person affair. It's a captain's match now. You know what happened the last time when that happened? Uh, Kyle Hammer won that one, and he's still in it. But oh, he just got drilled. And Booster can't seem to put away Grit. Grit is tough as nails. Let's put it that way, all right? And now Meany going for another pin on Hammer. And boy, Dame is just as crabby as Perch. What the heck? I don't know what's going on with those two. I swear to goodness. I don't know what's going on with those two, I swear. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, another X-Plex. Oh, man. Drops him, like, drops him. Oh, and once again, McCallum fights his way out of it. Oh, my gosh, man. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, once again, Hammer gets out of it. And right now, oh, and Luke McCallum's gone. Oh dear, high energy is gone, folks. There's the first official team. Oh man, and once a oh, here we go, hammer. Oh man, and Meany gets out of it. It's down to these three. Next person, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out who's gonna put win in place once one of these guys are eliminated. Oh, he missed it. Wow. I don't know what Kyle Hammer's going for, but his crossbody did not cross too well. No, it sure didn't, uh, Damp. Oh, man. Takes the knee out right from underneath, uh, Meanie. And right now, uh-oh, Grit sent it up. And that might be it. I think Mimi might be done. Nobody hardly. Oh, rope break. He, what a lucky son of a gun. You're damn right that is. I mean, uh, I thought Mimi's ma life in this match flashed before his eyes. Oh, and Grit just got waylaid. Oh, man. And now, Kyle Hammer not... Oh! Oh, man, and Grit catches him. And right... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, look at this. Grit gets out of it. Beautifully done. Oh, German suplex. Chaos Galore, ladies and Oh! Hits him with a nasty forearm behind the head. That's a concussion maker. But nonetheless, it is legal in this matchup because there is no disqualifications, no countouts. You got that right. And right now, uh oh. Oh, biting the fingers. Did somebody, did, did, didn't anybody feed Grit before he got here? Those fingers are not made of chicken there, Grit. Yeah, I think there's a difference in taste between chicken and human fingers. Good gosh. Yeah. Number one, they don't have the buffalo sauce with them. And number two, they taste quite different than chicken. And somebody's your chicken fingers in the back, ladies and gentlemen. 
And right now, I'll tell you what, what a, what a, what a brawl between these three. Just resilient athletes. We still got seven more matches to go after this, basically. This is, this is like, these, these two first two matches are setting the bar for tonight. That means every match afterwards is going to have to be really uh, as great as uh, these matches going on. Oh, man, suplex and an arm breaker. And right now, Grit maneuvering uh, Hammer face first and now pulling back on the arm. Oh, man, this is going to hurt. Oh, snaps back on the arm. Ooh, yeah, I could, that could wreck the elbow and the shoulder and everything else. The forearm. Maybe some of those chicken fingers that Grit thought were made of chicken. Who knows? I think Grit, he needs to, if he wants chicken fingers, he needs to go down to the refreshment stand because I think they got... They got a special on them tonight. Oh, man. And uh, Meaty gets hit in there. And, oh, man. That might be it for Meaty. A green Meaty might be gone. And unfortunately, who's going to win? Question is, who's going to wind up getting what here? Because now we're down to the final two. Grit and Kyle Hammer. Oh, and Kyle Hammer just won... Run himself a tight team toe shot. Wow. Oh, man. The team the fans didn't want wound up winning. But Gray and Reverend Morbid get the next Tri American tag team toe shot. Yeah, it's true, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want to be rulers of the try to be rulers of the world. Here is your winner, Kyle. Well, I hope Grit is all right. Well, you say that for, I'm pretty sure he is. Well, so he can go down to the refreshment stand and get some of those chicken fingers like he, he thought that uh, somebody else's fingers were made of chicken. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I wonder what happened. Fleur, did Flair forget to feed him today? Who knows? But coming up next, we got the Women's Television Championship. Daphne is going to challenge Lady Kenzie. This is going to be a good one. This is, these are two popular athletes here on the MSW roster. Question is, who, uh, basically, as we're going along here, I'm, I've been basically, I'll, I'll go out of character here for a second. I've been basically creating the uh, wrestlers for the 2K23 season. And I need a few more ages to create theirs. Once I can get it done, we can start shows on 2K23. So, uh, just to let you know, let you know where that status update is at. Greatly appreciate the support and the patience and everything else. I'll tell you what, man. I mean, uh, we just got, yeah, we just got through the first two matches, and those were like epic. Question: That's gonna make it uh, tougher for uh, all or ever, uh, basically. All the other ones that still got Russell tonight. Oh, well, sure is. I'll tell you that much right now. We got some crabby people over here in the locker rooms. Uh, Mr. Perch and Mr. Dane, they seem like they're not, yeah, basically, oh man. 
I'll tell you that much right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's World Television Championship. Women's World Television Championship. Very important. I mean, it's very it's a very important title to be the queen of media. And that's what it is, basically, you come to think about it. Of course, you get the television prestige every week, either on superstars or basically uh, must-see big-time wrestling. It's called what it is. And there is the ch there is the television champion herself, Lady Kenzie. Ready for television action here, folks. Introducing the challenger from Fresno, California. Fresno's own Daphne. And introducing the champion from New York. She is the women's world television champion, the superstar. Right. Oh man, right now we got the, the champion starting off very dominant here you know, against Daphne. Yeah, you know what? Daphne's got a tall order to do tonight. She's going against a powerhouse in Lady Kenzie. If she wants to get that title, she's gonna to have to wear down the powerhouse, or else if the powerhouse tear, if powerhouse Kenzie tears her down, that's it. That television title will still remain around the waist of Lady Kenzie. And right now, it looks like she was going to go for a springboard, but she's seen Kenzie get up quickly and nails her with a nasty suplex. Oh, and there goes Kenzie over the top. As Iron Taylor's, er as Iron Taylor's cheering Daphne on. Now, Kenzie... Just getting up there with just ease. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, she's quick as a cat. No, no doubt about that. And right now, Kenzie. Oh, man. Oh, right now, and Kenzie's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, it looks like Daphne's found a... Oh, forget that. Oh, man. Wheelbarrow DDT at all. Standing moonsault by the champion. Oh, going to top. Uh oh, this could be trouble. Yeah, she's telling Daphne to get up. Oh, man. What a Lana. Her Corona, that is. And there's a kick to the face of Daphne. And now, oh. 
beautiful form of the acai, acai moon salt by the champion. And once again, another moon salt. Was this moon salt city? Could be. That was like three moon salts within the last minute. And each one of them does hurt. I'll tell you that much right now. But look at Daphne still ticking here, and she's ticking and kicking. Oh man. Oh, what a chop by Kenzie. By Kenzie, by the champ. Oh, right there, a shot to the face, and now, uh oh. Set her up. Oh, backpack stunner. By the challenger. Oh, what's he gonna do here now? Oh, man. Picks her up and drops her face first into her knee. Oh, almost. Wow. Daphne is wondering, what the hell do I have to do to win this? Good question. Oh, that might have been it. The spear. But the problem is, uh, Daphne is a small person. Kenzie can take a whole bunch of punishment there. Yeah, Daphne is going to have to do a hell of a lot more. Oh, man. Tied her arms up so she couldn't escape. That was smart. And dropped her, o dropped her over an electric jar drop. Formation hit. And right now, Daphne. Oh, just squashing her with those, that beautiful leg scissors. And right now, da you know, if I'm Daphne, do not waste time. Well, here we go again. Oh, and Kenzie stops her. Wow. Oh, man, kicks her right in the shin. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh man, what a lucha arm drag by a TV champion. And right now, Kenzie putting that knee right into the back of uh, Daphne. She's got her in that modified camel clutch. Or it could be a modified chin lock. It could be that too. You are right about that. And oh man, what a kick there by Kenzie. Oh, man, headlock driver. Used to be known as Dirty Deeds at one time. Indeed. One percenter, how about that? Oh, what a moonsault. And, uh-oh, it's Kenzie. Oh, Kenzie was going for something, but Daphne has blocked her in. Oh, she gets caught. Wow. Oh, missed it. Wow. Oh, my gosh, man. T-bone. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Drills her with that knee to the face again. Oh, rope break. Son of a gun. Oh, man. Could you imagine she did not have her hand on the rope? Yeah, we would have a new TV champion, that's for sure. Is Iron Taylor even out? Yeah, Iron Taylor's still out there, folks. I didn't know he was. I mean, the combatants covering him up. Going for the pin again. Yes. And Lady Kenzie gets it with a DDT and retains the television title. Gotta give it up to her hell of a matchup. Oh, you're not kidding. I'll tell you how much right now. You are absolutely not kidding. I'll say that much right now. Close, close, and really close, I could just say. Unbelievable. What a... You know, it is what it is. Kenzie is still your television champion. 
She wanted it more than uh, I guess Daphne did tonight and, and proved it. Television champion, the superstar. And yeah. And don't do that to me. We're not gonna do that. Coming up next, big time ladder match. Pierce Perch against Mike Watson. Oh man, here we go. This is a matchup that Perch has been waiting for. Sure was. We'll see if he, uh, yeah, definitely. This is the matchup. I wonder if Perch has still got those nerves from everything that's happening right now, you know? Here we go, folks. It's go time for Perch. Question is, can he do it? The following contest. Ladder match, one eight like he wanted. If he doesn't win this one, I guess he can only Perch can only blame Perch. That's right, because he's the one that wanted the stipulation. If he won that, if they won that six man match, and he did. Question is, does he still have those ner nerves in his system? You wonder. Does Mr. Perch have those nerves in his system? That's been bothering him all night because of everything been going on. Here we go. Another one of those great, great matchups. This should be a great matchup. So far, it's been, uh, it's been going on full speed. 
It's even going to go faster. It's even go on. It's even going to go on full octane tonight. As, as this goes on, this is one of this is uh the first of Mike Watson's two matches. <coughs> He's got to wrestle later on for the Universal Title against the champion Matt Bennett. And there's the Great Lakes Tower above the ring. <coughs> MSW fans cheering Perch. I'm pretty sure he's got he's got their support in this one tonight. Watson's a mystery. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't know if he wants the fans to like him or not. I don't know. He plays a lot of mind games. Question, will it pay off or will it make him fall flat on his face? That's going to be the question tonight. Well, I guess we're going to find out momentarily. So come, Marvelous Merle challenging GX3 for the television title. You got Payne going against Payne defending her women's tri American title against Miss Alice. You also got the uh, Sakura Miura being challenged by Akira tonight. Main event, Watson against Bennett. Universal title as Bennett defends his title against the monster right now in the ring and the question is will he be at 100%? Who the heck knows? There's gonna be the question. And there's that beautiful MSW Great Lakes Championship. A title that's been around for now, for when it started off as Great Lakes Wrestling. Such a beautiful belt. And right now, Perch taking it to Watson here. Oh boy, he's trying to end this quickly. Oh, beautiful move there, and now Perch Knowing what the objective is, get the ladder, climb up there, get the belt. Yeah, definitely. Well, pops him in the face. And now... Yeah, Watson has not been himself. He's been between... Oh, man. That may be costly, but... Look at Perch getting back up. Oh, and right now Watson just grabbed him as he was going for that ladder, and that ladder could be a uh, distraction too. Yeah, if you're not careful looking at your opponent. Drops drops the knee first in the head. Oh, misses the elbow. <laughs> Oh man, we got fist of cuffs going on here between these two. Oh man, nasty face but nasty. Uh, I don't know what the heck you. Let's like a form of face buster there, uh, man. I think you might be right there, Whale. And right now, going for that. Let's see if you can uh, start the process. Okay, there we go. There's the process. It's been started. Question is now you gotta do that quite a few more times before you can uh, get that title off and then you declare the champ. But right now, Watson caught him. Oh! Man, rocked him with that suplex. And now Watson getting up there, climbing up there slowly. Yeah, Watson's methodical. Oh no, he's not going. He wasn't going for the ladder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Leg drop off the top of the ladder and look at Perch getting back up. Oh, Page Turner. Oh, 
crossroads. Yeah, we finished by Cody, and now Hurt Giant paying attention to title. You think you would uh, go after that title and just get the heck out of here? And now Hunter Dane decides to argue with the cameraman. Uh, man, how how brave! No, wow. Oh my gosh, what a nice uh, moonsault there. Yeah, Dane better be careful not to press the camera, man, or else he may be suspended from the, the Wish Battle Royal tomorrow night. Yeah, definitely. You, that's one thing you don't do. They got a job. You don't want to be filmed, don't be there. That's all I can say. That doesn't mean you can attack the cameraman. Ah, uh, but, you know, it's like, uh, only thing that, that uh, Crossface helps out on is him uh, weakening him so he cannot seem to get it going here. And, uh-oh. Where is Perchy going to now? Perchy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, definitely. Oh, and Watson with a kick. Oh, he missed that. Oh, man. Right now, Watson just hammering away on Perch. Oh, man, what a power bomb. Freaking nasty. And that hurt. And I heard that thud on the back of his shoulders there. And, oh, my gosh. Drops the elbow. And that's 300 pounds behind that elbow. Oh, Dominator. Oh, there's the cave-in. Oh, my gosh. That nasty double-footed kangaroo kick. Just imagine a kangaroo hitting you. Only difference is that kangaroo is a 300-pound monster known by the name Mike Watson. And now Watson going for the, uh, oh, man. This could be trouble. Oh, and a power bomb by Perch. Oh, here we go again. Oh, man, what a move there. And Watson all laid out, his leg on the rope, and Perch trying to go for that belt. Oh, man, crash and burn. He should have went for, you know what, I hate to say, he should have went for the belt. I agree. You know, you're going to do human highlight reel of this. Uh, you're you, you're going to wind up, if you crash and burn, you may wind up paying. And so it would not be a very good price. I understand it's a ladder match and stuff like that, but the objective is get the belt off those rungs and bring it down for the victory. Which Perch is now doing now. As he learned that uh, he realized it's like, okay, I'm not going to go and try to do that again. I'm not going to try to risk life and limb. I'm going to do exactly what we need to do. Oh, ouch. Watson. Man, he got... He got a headache one, two, and three there. He got an MSW headache one, two, and three. Oh, man. And uh, 
Yeah, Watson's like, screw this. I'm just going to take the ladder out from underneath him. And that worked to the highest extent. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go again. Page Turner. Oh, boy. This could be trouble here for Mr. Uh, Watson. Oh, man. What a... What a ring a ling a ding Tell you that much right now. As he nailed him to that crossroads, and now Perch, uh-oh. He's going to try for you again. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, he missed it. Oh. That's not good. Oh, man, and uh, Perch paid for it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to pay off there. Oh, and once again, big-time elbow. Once again, 300-pound hammer and elbow coming down from the top rope on Perch. Yeah, right now, I'll tell you what. This has been a dragged-out, knockdown brawl. Oh, boy. Oh, and Perch. Wow. Oh, beautiful uh, split, man. Oh, beautiful uh, split legged moonsault there. And oh, sense. And right now, Perch squeezing the pressure on Watson, even showing a little acrobatics there. Here we go, folks. Here we go again. Oh, he's. Oh, come on, man. Oh, gosh. It is, and you know, I gotta admit, it is awesome, but you know what? Oh, man, drills him. Once again, another one of those, uh, kind of like crossroads moves. Uh-oh, here we go. Can he do it? He's done it. Perch has won the Great Lakes title. Oh my gosh. Wow. Perch finally gets it done. He is now the king of the Great Lakes. There you go, folks. He's probably made his wasteland moment. Big win for Pierce Perch there, folks. Stay tuned. More action still to come. Coming up next, Miss Alice against Pain. Women's Tri-American title on the line. This is going to be a good one. I'll tell you that much right now. This is going to be a very good one. Should be. And I'll be right back and go go use the facilities here in the arena.
I'll be with you guys in a moment. Like I said, I'm going to go uh, use the facilities real quick. I'm going to start this matchup, and I'll be right back to talk with you as soon as possible. Good to see you there, Marcus King 41 and KSW Bat 1974. Welcome back, everybody. We've got Payne coming up here against uh, Miss Alice to finish that title here right now. It always makes that noise when I first plug it in. Yeah. Introducing the challenger. From Cleveland, Ohio, Mills Alice. And there she is, folks. Ready to challenge Payne and tonight for the Tri American champion. title. From of course, she won a Rumble uh, Challenge Payne. That was the same uh, Rumble that uh, Daphne was a runner up and was able to challenge a TV champ. And tomorrow night, it'll be your Ricci challenging Susan Chow for the uh, Summer Wasteland title. Just to let you. For the women's, uh, the Queen of Wasteland title. Let you just let you know what's going on here. First four matches uh, happened. Uh, Jen Decay won the Wish Contract Women's Battle Royal. Red Syndicate won the uh, four-way tag team match with Grit and R Reverend Morbid coming up as a runner-up. So that means, well, you know what they mean. Red Syndicate will get the next World Tag Team title shot. While Grit and uh, Morbid will get the next Tri American Tag Team title shot. Lady Kenzie beat Daphne tonight. And then, of course, uh, Pierce Perch just beat Mike Watson in a ladder match for the Great Lakes title. So, right now on the scoreboard for title matches, it is Champions 1, Contenders 1. 
campaign, this unique looking person who is a who is a girlfriend of uh, FBI mad scientist slash mad scientist Mr. Christopher Ovis. As right now Payne is just doing a number on Miss Alice until once Miss Alice can find a way to fight her way out of this. And now Miss Alice, uh, I guess she must have listened because right now she's throwing the punches. And oh man, fanny pack. That's what we usually like calling what Sarah Perry used to do when she was here. That backpack stunner. Yeah, I'd like to say congratulations to Marcus King and Tasha Moss for getting married today. They got married at Wasteland. And of course, Tasha Moss will have a seat at ringside tomorrow when her husband... Her newly husband uh, challenges Corey Crichton for the Tri American Belt, and oh my gosh, Frog Splash! And Payne cannot believe it. She thought that should have been over with. Come on, she should know better. Miss Alice is uh, very resilient. She's a veteran. She knows what it takes for her to be beaten and what it takes for her to have her opponent get beat. You're right about... Oh, man, there's a spear. Talk about equalizer right there. If the pile driver's a game changer, I gotta say the spear is an equalizer. And Miss Alice did not have it there. She only got two. And yes, this is an Extreme Rules match. Oh man, right now, here we go. Wow. Action going on here between these two. And now Miss Alice taking in her control right now. And uh oh. Yeah. Oh, man. That smacked with a uh, stomp to the face. Oh, favorite here in Popcorn, folks. Here, tore down that vendor. And oh man, pain. Wow. Rolls her back in. This is the first of two matches for Payne because tomorrow night she challenges Miami Gold for that women's title. So, oh man, she got caught. Oh, what a thrust and power bomb. Are you freaking serious? That was nasty. Sure the heck was. And now Payne wants it. Oh man, and they're going at it once again. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man. Double underhook power driver. On the outside of all places. That padding protects, but not by much. You got that right. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh. Oh, nothing greater than getting hit with a kendo stick. Really, really not. Oh, DDT. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, man. Nasty. All right, let me read all the results again. I didn't know if anybody knew. So far, Janet Decay won the Wish Battle Royal. In the 4 way tag team match, it was uh, Red Syndicate defeating Crossbones as the, as they're the final two teams that wind up winning tag team title shots. So that means our uh, Syndicate's going to get shot at the World Tag Team titles down the road while Crossbones gets a shot at the Tri American belts. Lee Kenzie defeated Daphne tonight in a hard fought matchup. And then Pierce Perch beat Mike Watson in a ladder match to win the uh, Great Lakes title. And right now, Payne is having her way with her opponent here tonight. Miss Alice could be in trouble here. She's not careful. Oh boy, here we go. And uh oh. Uh oh. Springboard drop kick. And look at that. Miss Alice coming back again. Oh man. Oh. Miss Alice going to work now on the champion, and I uh, wish she got plenty. Oh, ouch. Backbone to the apron, not too good. Oh, man. Hammering away. And this, uh, the way that Miss Alice could. Okay, yeah, good. yeah, I won't, yeah, no problem, I'm not going to do that. Oh, man, what a knee, what a neck into the knee by Miss Alice. And now Miss Alice taking it. Pain. Oh, what well, needs a face now? Oh, oh man. Gotcha. Understood. Hey, uh, I love when that happens, man. I'll tell you that much right now. Not. <laughs> Oh, not good for the challenger. Oh, man. Not good for the challenger. That is so damn eerie. You better believe it is. Well, Payne made it through her first match tonight, unlike Watson. Definitely. Hell of a matchup, and in the end, we see Payne retaining the title.
Can that be her tomorrow night holding the world title? Only time can tell, folks. Here we go, folks. Marvelous Merle against GX3. And we got an interview in the back. Hello there, folks. Sasha Stone. And hope you're enjoying the great show known as Wasteland. With me right now is the Tri-American Champion and the uh, MLM UOW World Champion, Corey Crichton. Congratulations, Corey. Not, yeah, I'll tell you what, I mean, uh, you know, this is awesome, but tomorrow I gotta get back to business on this because tomorrow I, uh, I'm, I'm going against a very gamed Marcus King. I'll tell you that much right now. Before I uh, say anything, I need to congratulate him and Tasha tonight for being married. Hope you enjoy an everlasting life together. But tomorrow, we know it's all about the title. This is going to be one of uh, two big matches we're going to be doing. I'll tell you what, I mean, tonight, I mean, tomorrow, I know what I need to do. I need to retain it. He knows what he needs to do. He needs to win it. So, you know, to say who's going to win it, I don't know. It's going to be depend on whose night is it going to be. That's all I'm going to say. Like I said, I hope it's I I hope it goes down in the book and wins as one of the uh, best matches. I feel like I'm back in my groove now and stuff like that. And I'll tell you what. I'm getting ready to do a great revival here. Hopefully, uh, it does pretty well for me. Thank you for the time, Sasha. You are welcome, Corey. Back to you guys. All right, we're going to the ring right now as uh Perch right now is talking to the fans over there on the forum as he's uh, got tears with the, the Great Lord and Lakes title. Is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Television Championship. Marvelous Merle, a crafty veteran. He won this tell with it. He won this tell shot with a at the, uh, was a couple weeks ago in the Rumble. There he is, folks. Marvelous Merle. Oh, of course, he's got an early morning match tomorrow. Oh, boy. Well, his, uh, his, uh, his play is stacked. There you go. But if I know Crichton, he can handle it well. And there is Marvelous Merle. And Miss Stone and right now Sasha Stone is talking to Perch right now about the Great Lakes title victory and the uh upcoming match with Hunter Dame as this is going on and stuff like that. Oh, wow, and Marcus has got an early morning match tomorrow. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Question is, are you going to be at 100% tomorrow for a big matchup? Well, Sasha is asking Perch, how does it feel to become, his, uh, again, his first ever Great Lakes title reign, as it was a title he did not hold here at MSW. Should be interesting.
Uh, interesting. It might be happening after this is over. Well, okay. If it is, I'll check it out. Yeah, like I said, man, big shout out this weekend is that Simo Wasteland that happened recently. 50 years of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was awesome. The original classic. The mask that used to scare the crap out of me. Now it looks like uh, Butch is now being asked about his career against the streak. Weighing in at 330 pounds, he is the World Television Champion, G.X. Lee. Yeah, classic. I got to meet some of the stars over there. Uh, Mr. William Vale, who played Kirk. That was on Kirk, uh, Terry McMahon, who played Pam, and Alan Denziger, who played uh, Jerry in the movie. I saw ch chatting with Edward Neal and John Duggan, who I met before, basically. Great, I'll tell you what. Great, uh, great, great uh, individuals. He holds many titles on e MSW and ES ECW. He doesn't hold anymore in ECW. He, he walked out on them. Yeah, he did. I mean, that's not, yeah. And right now, Merle. You may not like him, you may like him. You gotta give Merle the credit. He is, he is one hell of a tactician. And Marcus says he's got a few shout outs. Nashville hot chicken chips. I'm gonna have to pick some of those up the next time. We got Perch over here saying, uh, "Look at, look at, look at him, Miss Stone." Now, I am the Great Lakes title. I am the first ever Great Lakes champion. You're crushing. That is your first ever title reign. You're not the first ever. Yeah, I think that's what he means. He just forgot that key word, Wayne. Cherry cola and pizza so sounds good to me. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you, I gotta give a shout. I'll give some away so another shout out. They uh, have another great show. They have, they have, they have another uh, a great uh, reunion coming up in October, which I will tell about once it becomes official. Hey, don't get smart with Sasha Stone. Where, where, is, where is she wrong? Yeah, you are a former ECW light heavyweight champion, yeah. And right now, Merle and GX3 having her hands full of each other in this fight. 
GX3 not backing down for a fight against the tactician Marvel Samoa. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, Evil Dead Wise can't wait. Oh, man. Posted him hard right in that uh, barricade. And GX3 is going to win by count out. Wow. Merle knew what was the rules, and unfortunately, he did not beat the count, so therefore, uh, GX3 is still the champion. And that means a successful title defense for the beloved guy from the third galaxy. And you know it doesn't matter. You know there's gonna be some critics saying it doesn't that he won by count but he beat him. Television champion. And now we got Dame arguing a perch right now in the back. Lee. Oh boy, look these two going at it again, aren't they? Wow. We got some great action coming up here next. Tag team titles on the line. Monaco and Arrow challenging the champions. Dan Owls and Grim Gordon. And in their corner is the Wish Contract Battle Royal winner from earlier in the broadcast. Janet Decay. Yeah, big win for Janet Decay. She's, she, she wants this night to be greater by having uh, Gringory retain his title. Yeah, it would be great. I'll tell you, I was talking to Grim and Janet this afternoon over at uh, Wasteland. They've been looking forward to this matchup. This one should be. This one should definitely uh, tear down the house, basically, with these uh, four individuals. I mean, uh, these are some. Uh, this is going to be quick and fly high flying. Oh, wow. Perch and Dane just uh, going back and bickering back and forth here, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Oh, man, I would love that if that my stuff you was real. Oh, my gosh, man, that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, maybe one of these days, who knows? 
maybe I'm when I'm up there and uh, don't have much left on the clock. Who knows? <laughs> oh, jeez, that would be something. Be one of those last uh, things on the on the list there, on the bucket list, as they call it. Here we go, folks. John Monaco and uh, wow. Blue Arrow getting ready for action. Oh boy, and uh, Perch and, and the war so continues. I guess now it's an officially a title match. Wow. Yeah, well, that's called alternative reality. Yeah, definitely. Oh, am I? You know, I want. Yeah, it would be nice if it was. I mean, definitely, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, who knows? Never say never. <laughs> There's that beautiful Tri American Tag Team belt. I remind myself on 23 to hide the nameplate. I'll admit. Yeah. Wow, there you go. And right now, Danhausen. Oh man, stutter by Danhausen. Danhausen starts off quickly. He knows what he needs to do. This is a uh, heck of a situation. Perch called uh, Thame a scumbag and scum, and Thame is laughing at him. Yeah, surprisingly. Oh, maybe not. Uh, man, Arrow just dropped uh, Housen. Oh boy, here comes the tag to John Monaco. Oh man, and Perch, I mean, Dan Helsen biting at the fingers of Monaco. Wow. Well, that one arm's not really working well for him, so he's got to go. I guess he's finding all kinds of small offensive moves. McDonald, you mean McDonald's? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <laughs> and now. Grim Gory looking to see if he can uh, put lights out on Monaco right now as he's get, as Monaco gets up. Uh oh. Oh, he gets caught. Knocked. Oh, thrusting power bomb by John Monaco. Oh man. I think Sabrina's in the back right now watching. Uh, guess uh, Monaco did not want her to come out here, and who could blame her? Yeah, definitely. 
wonder if they had their second child yet. We've been hearing about that from Lorenzo, who is the cousin of John Monaco. Of course, Lorenzo's got a big match tomorrow night, last man standing. Francois loses, he's gone. But Francois wins, he is the X Division champion. And the fans are going to hope for Lorenzo to win that one. We can only hope, I'll tell you that much right now, definitely. Oh, and Danhausen uh, putting those defensive skills to work, but not for long. As Monaco finds a way to, oh, he just jumped right up on top rope and hits that. Wow. Monaco going for the pin on uh, Danhausen. And no, man, I'll tell you what. Right now, oh boy, Gory's in a little bit of trouble here, and, uh, oh wait a minute, Grim Gory fighting his way out of it. Grim Gory, one half of the Mummy and the Monkey Horror Host Show on YouTube. You can check him out Friday nights. I just got done talking to him today. They, uh, were, yeah, we're, uh, I, I got to see some of the stars of the MSW over at Wasteland today. At Simo Wasteland. Wolfchild and Grim Gory and Janet Decay were three of them. And Marcus says, I got a joke for Malachi, but there's a problem looking at Malachi. is already a joke. Oh, gosh. Ouch. Oh, oh man. Oh, here we... Oh, man. Oh, man. Perch it says that it'll be his yeah Perch tells Miss Stone, you know, win lose win or lose next Friday and then next MSW show, April 7, 2023. Title and career on the line against uh Hunter Dame and uh he loses, he loses career and title, but he wins, he keeps both of them and I guess the one and oh streak will be over with for Mr. Dane. Yeah, some streak. Man. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. The 216, he's dialing it up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Oh. And, but Grim Gory does not capitalize on it. Wow. Yeah, usually where's the follow-up splash? That's a little bit stunning, I gotta admit. That is stunning. And right now, oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. And what's this now? Oh no. Not good for Monaco and oh! Oh ho! Oh. What a move, but wow. Room 619, yeah. Says he lives in the Cleveland area, it'd be 216, and oh! Danhausen. I wonder how much pain he's going through right now with that arm injury that he's trying to do a move like that on Monaco. Wow. Hell of a move. Oh, almost had it there. Danhausen giving a great effort. And uh oh. Oh, he gets dropped by uh Oh man, right there, there's the backbreaker. That's gonna hurt. That rattles. That's a spine rattler right there. You better believe it, Leia. And right now. Oh, he missed. Wow. Missed that big time elbow drop with Theatrix, man. And Perch talking about he's got tickets for his Canadian family. He's gonna watch them April 7th. Oh man, he worked on that arm too. He took advantage. And Mon uh oh, Monaco. Looks like he's going to make it over there as 
Grim Corey did not bother to uh, run over it. I would have, yeah, heck, if I was Grim Corey, I would have went and grabbed him. Nope. Okay, never mind. I was wondering what the heck was that uh, showing there. Okay. It's just Monica uh, suffered a little, uh, suffered a little, uh, what was it, uh, recovery phase there. Gotcha. Oh, man, what a save by Dan Allison. Wow. If night one's been exciting. I wonder what night two's going to bring tomorrow night. Going to be... That's going to be a hell of a... That should be a hell of a card. We got... Oh, man. Oh, no. Could be all over here. Oh, look at Dan Housen again. The save of his career. I think the save of the century. And he did pretty well on that. I'll tell you that much right now, but... Oh, and Grim Corey gives him enough time to recover. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, what a drop kick to the back. And oh boy, uh-oh. Oh, he missed. On the outside, he was going after Monaco and he missed. And I don't understand that. And right now, oh man, he gets caught. Oh, and the Grim Corey lowers the boom on uh, Arrow. But Arrow coming back here. And right now, uh oh. Oh, he caught him. Oh, oh, man, somersault kick. And once again, Danhausen making the save. Again, a century. Danhausen has been uh, roaming around here with all these saves, which is incredible. Gotta give him credit where credit is due. And it's, you know what the problem is? He's attacking Danhausen, but look who's recovered. Grim Gory. Oh, man, what a move right there. And now, flip and snap, man. Yeah, Dan Hells is more like save Hells in his right. Oh, he meant, oh. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Grim Gory Spoon put up a hell of a fight. And now Janet looking looking on as she sees her husband. Oh man. Oh, oh. And Perch still going on about his career and stuff like that. We know the match is coming up Friday. Trust us, we do. Believe me. And right now, oh, right in front of Monaco. Wow. That's ballsy. That is very ballsy, I gotta admit. Oh! Man! Oh, man, and Monaco, man. That's a jawjacker and a half. And Dan Nelson would go rope-a-dope. Not quite George Foreman punches, but they work. You got that right. They sting. If anything, they don't have power behind them, but they sting. Monaco felt every one of them, and uh-oh. Grim, I think, is going for the kill here. Man, he could have went for that frog splash easy, but I don't think he had the... He felt like he did not have the range. Facts. 
I'll tell you that much right now. Definitely facts. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, elbow right in the back. And, and the fans are loving Grim Glory. He's a cult icon. What else you expect? Yeah, I gotta agree with that. So is Dan Howes. I mean, as as Grim Glory gets popular, Dan Howes is starting to feel that uh, urge, basically. And uh-oh. Here we go again. Oh. 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 Oh, man. And But Dan Howes gets it right in the ribs from... Uh, And oh man, what a win! Blue Arrow was distracted by Grim Gory that Danhausen was able to sneak in and get the pin. Wow! That was a hell of a matchup. This has been a good night for the mummy and the monkey. Jan K wins the battle royal at the beginning of the show, and now Danhausen and Grim Gory get the victory. Rightfully deserved, I'll tell you that much right now. That was a hell of a matchup. And now uh purchasing dad, aka Malcolm, I did it. I'm the I become the Great Lakes champion. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. Shane Malcolm wasn't there because he's on he's on the wanted list right now. Yeah, for his his crimes against time. Coming up next, Akira against Sakura Miura. And right now we got Sasha Stone with the champions, Dan Housen and Grim Gory. Hello there, folks. Sasha Stone back with you again in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. And with me right now is still the Tri American Tag Team Champions, Dan Housen and Grim Gory. Grim, congratulations. This is a heck of a night for you and Janet. I mean, you retained the titles. And Janet wins the wish contract. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right now, let me say something right now. I mean, Dan Housen, I, you know what? I kept Blue Arrow off his game. Dan Housen managed to get the pin. End of story. End of story. And now we got to face off against Crossbones Incorporated. Reverend Morbid and uh, Grit, man. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, wait a minute, Dan, you want to say something? Yeah, oh yeah, very nice, very evil. Let me say something to you right now. Crossbones Incorporated, are we going against Pirates, Grim? I don't know, man, they sound like it. They don't look like Pirates. I don't remember Pirates wearing soccer jerseys. I don't remember Pirates wearing, uh... Yeah, I'll tell you what, I don't remember, yeah, you know, it... These guys, these these guys are secondhand pirates. No, no, no disrespect towards you, uh, Morbin and Grit, but I'll tell you what, right now, when we meet up for a uh, Tri American Tag Team Title match, the belts are gonna still stay with Grimhausen. You heard right there. You heard from my partner. And uh, man, I'll tell you what, this sweetheart right here, mm, right here, Janet. I'll tell you what, you. You, uh, I'll tell you what, this is, uh, this is gonna be a heck of a night. Let's go, let's go eat somewhere. Yay! All right, back to you guys. We're getting ready for Akira versus Sakura Miura. I guess Janet was a little shy on words. I guess, I, I guess Janet Decay was a little shy on words. Well, I guess it's called savoring the big night tonight. I mean, Mummy and the Monkey were on are on the same page. Decay and Gory did it. Gory basically 
We changed the titles. The K won the Battle Royal. How how more awesome can it get? Especially on a weekend that that has you as one of the main stars of the of the uh, wasteland attraction, and not only that, over at beautiful Simo Wasteland. Like I said, you're out there in Ohio. You need something to do to. Uh, they're open from 11 to 5 tomorrow. I'll admit that much right now. Contest. And I will I will promote these guys to the nose end because these guys do an awesome thing. They do an awesome convention. And Marcus is saying hasta la visa to all those bad guys. They're a believe it. And right now we got this should be an interesting matchup. Akira taking on Sakura Miura for that title. Question is, can Sakura Miura retain it, or will she fall flat on her face from him? Because I'll tell you what, Akira is no pushover. Oh, you know what? You're definitely right about that. Let's say what it is, man. Let's say what it is. And there's your harsh Shoten right there. Your your Richie and Sakura Mira are coming down to the ring. Introducing the challenger from Japan, A. Car A. The land of the rising sun is going to be looking on in this matchup as both the champion, both of the representatives are from Japan. Japan. She is the women's and Japan is just a freaking wrestling factory. I'll tell you that much right now, Vamp. Sakamoto. The list oh, is yeah. endless. You go back from the days of Baba, Saruta. Tenru, before that, you can go back to Ricky Dozen. Hiro Matsuda. You also got uh, the likes of uh, Shinya Hashimoto. You got Toshiaki Kawada. To the day of uh, the great stars like uh, freaking uh, Okada, Tanahashi, Naito. The list is endless talent. You got people in the U.S. like Takashita, Nakamura, As Asuka, e Io Sky, and right now Miura's putting uh, Kira with some pain right now. She's got she's got a five count to break the move. Perch is hugging everybody now. Oh, he's just in a hug happy mood. Oh my gosh. Wow. Man, I guess you get a wasteland moment. You feel like you're on top of the world, and uh, that's a good feeling. And Akira pounding away on Sakura. Ow. Nasty kick to the back, and now, oh, and Akira misses the big elbow. That's going to hurt, definitely, because she doesn't have elbow pads. But Akira comes back, wow. Getting into Miura here. These two match up pretty damn well against each other, let's put it that way. Oh, you're right about that, and oh, Miura with a Frankensteiner. It's not because they're from the same country in Japan, but they just are just incredibly skilled. T 
Tell you what, I'll, I'll say that much right now. Kira, she first started here in MSW, then she uh what became a resident uh, popular star in Shockwave, as uh, Shockwave picked up momentum, definitely. But she was brought over here first to MSW, and uh, you know what? Give all the credit to her. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we, we'll say we can't take all the credit because uh, she is a Shockwave discovery. Definitely, I'll tell you, Shockwave, they're, uh, they're, a, they're, a, they're a building ground for great talent. Good. I mean, whether you like them or you hate them. Six. You're right about that. Right now, they better get back in the ring because they know they can't, get, they can't win the title on a countout. Oh, definitely for sure. And now Miura. Oh, man. Oh, what a move right there. And now, uh-oh. She's going long range, oh my gosh, and uh-oh. Oh, and she nails it. Barely, but she did it. Oh, and Akira uh, kicks out. And right now, uh-oh. Wow. Kira in trouble. Oh, what a drop kick to the back. Oh, man. But Akira blocks it, and now, ooh. Good gosh almighty. And, uh, ooh, man. A knuckle to the face as she had her in the headlock. May not be the most favorable moves, but you know it works. Sure does. You know? Not really that bad of a move. I mean, it's just a move that gets you a, gets you a, once it gets you a quick advantage there. Legally, I should say. Oh, and Amir just caught an elbow to the face as uh, she, uh, as Akira broke out of the Anaconda Vice and, oh, shiny wizard. Oh, man. But, uh, oh, now Akira working over the back of Sakura Miura. This has been a hell of a show here tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. And this is only the first night, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder what night two is going to bring tomorrow. God knows there's going to be a lot of great matches on that one. You got that right. Wolchow against Brimstone. Crichton against Marcus King. Mighty Gold against P. The tag team women's title match is on the line there. Susu Chow defend the title against Yorichi. Lorenzo against Francois in a career versus title match. There's also going to be a uh, battle roll for the men's wish contract. It can range from anywhere. That it can be either a 20 or 30 men, depending who's all going to be in it. And, oh man, what a knockout blow. Could that be it for a, for a smaller size Miura? Oh, Akira kicks out and Miura's like, I'll be damned. Oh man, and Miura. And Sakura Miura retains the title. Wow. That was a hell of a match. One man I'll tell you what, every match on there seems to have real, like really great value. I can't really find a bad match here tonight, uh, Vamp. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll tell you what. Incredible.
Really incredible. Say that much right now. Really incredible. Give it up to Sakura Miura, who still retains that title. Who's going to be tough enough to beat her? I mean, don't forget, she's still got to remember Bertha's going to still be out there with that Money in the Bank briefcase and the case out there with that wish contract. Here is your winner, and still women's universal champion. Well, again, there, folks, our main event's coming up next. Mike Watson going to get a shot at Matt Bennett. So far, he's 0 for 1 tonight. Can actually a uh, win against Matt Bennett uh, erase what happened to him earlier? We're going to find out. And Marcus is telling Perch that there's a lot of men who deserve to be in this company. And that Juicy Fruit Gum commercial man does not deserve to be here. And I'll tell you what, we are down to the final matchup for night one. Yes, we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, this has been an interesting first night. Let's get the ring right now, folks. <coughs> we also, I forgot, we also got a Simmel Wasteland title match tomorrow. Moxie is going to challenge Alex and Adam Foreman. And, and he's for the Universal Championship. Tag Team Women's title match, uh, Statlander and Genocide ready to challenge, uh, challenge, uh, what is it, uh, what's her face, uh, Mona Hyatt and Suspiria Del Rey tomorrow night. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know what, this first night did you didn't think this first night was interesting. Wait till you see the second night tomorrow. I don't know, yeah. How about I be in your corner tomorrow night? I'll, no, this man, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, no, you can't be in the corner because you know what? It's extreme rules. Yeah. No people allowed in the corner. Yeah. I'll put it that way.
Right there, folks, Matt Bennett with the Universal Championship. Great second generation. I think might be a third generation wrestler, too, if I'm correct. Yeah, we did hear rumors that he was Ric Flair's grandson, but I don't know. I know that he is the uh, son of Miss Alice and Mr. Amazing, who's still recovering. And right now, I, I hope Mr. Amazing's watching this. I mean, definitely. Yeah, we have... We got our well wishes of Mr. Amazing for a quick recovery. Introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 322 pounds, Maniac. And I wonder how Watson's Mike feeling after he got, uh, was it, in that uh, rolling and ladder match, and unfortunately he came up on a short end. From Ohio, weighing in at 240 pounds, he is the Universal Champion, Max Bennett. Matt Bennett, get ready for action here, folks. He's become like the people's universal champion, no doubt about it. He's held that title for a very long time. Very dominant, very incredible. Mike Watson wants to ruin that. He wants to break that streak. He wants to end that, end that great journey for Matt Bennett. But if I know Bennett, he's not going down without a fight. Uh, you're damn right about that. Oh man, right now Watson uh, going right to work on uh, Bennett. <laughs> and right now Bennett going to work on Watson. Now he's got the... Oh! I might have to take Bennett to the crap stable because he can, he can roll me a snake eyes and now I'll put the bet on it. Yeah, definitely. That was one heck of snake eyes on a big guy like Watson. Definitely. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how much you can weight you got in that body. It's that head. They'll take the shot. And right now, Bennett going for the pin. Oh, couldn't do it. And it only got one. That's yeah, going to take a lot more down. I don't think uh, Watson's completely down, but uh, he might be a little worn down from the other match, but uh, he's still got some fight in him. I got him net. And right now, man, Bennett's getting it going here. Beautiful snap power slam by the champ. And right now, uh-oh. Bennett's got bad in Oh, he had bad intentions for Watson, but Watson uh, tripped him over. Oh, wait a minute, and Watson now. Oh, gosh. That was nasty. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nice. Nice there, Marcus, definitely. Family entertainment, I'm telling you. Family, family sporting fun. I never, I, you know, I still, I'm still one of those old schools. So I still won't call it entertainment. It's just family sporting fun. And right now, Bennett trying to put the uh, beat down on uh, Watson and end this matchup and make his own wasteland moment. And Bennett, uh-oh. Oh, man, what a move right there. Bennett wins, wow. Big win. Big one for Matt Bennett. Close it out, man. <laughs> yeah, 
Watson goes 0 for 2 tonight. He's going to have to go back to the drawing board. You know? He's just going to... Driver for a win is right. We're not talking about Adam either. Here is your winner. And still Universal Champion, Max Bennett. Well, there you go, folks. There's an end to Night One there, folks. For everybody here, I'll tell you what. Thank you for joining us here. And uh, hope you can do that again tomorrow night. As Night Two will conclude tomorrow night. For Leah Moriarty, Sasha Stone, and everybody else is here. I'll tell you what. Uh, y'all have a good night and have a great week. Uh, have a good night and see you all tomorrow night for for the uh, for, for the other night for tomorrow's night too. Basically, take care, everybody.